show you how to mute your colors or create earthier colors. So color mixing can be can feel a little intimidating. So uh, it's just a, good to think of it as this is just paint and I'm just exploring and playing with it. Uh, so I've just got some mixed media paper here and a brush and I've got some ultramarine blue and some cadmium orange on my paper here. And so these are on the opposite side of the color wheel to each other. So this is how you mute a color. Uh, if you mix them half and half, you're probably just going to create a mud color um, because the ones on the opposite side of the color wheel will do that. But if you add just a touch of a color from the opposite side of the color wheel, it will mute the color down and make it less sort of vibrant. So you can see the pure color there in ultramarine blue, and then you can see where I've added a little bit of the cadmium orange. Um, just adding white so you can kind of see it a little um, better on the screen here. So you can see the difference between the, the one on the left, which is the pure color, and the one that on the right that has the, the orange added to it. So if you come up with a color that you really like, a mixture of you know two paints or three paints that you really like, just make note of it uh, somewhere in a, in a journal so that you can uh, recreate that color again. So on the left, I've added just a tiny bit of the orange to the blue, and then on the right, I'm adding a tiny bit of the blue to the orange so you can see what it looks like um, muting it down the other way. And sometimes you go too far, you add too much, you just, just keep adding and just remember to be gentle and kind with yourself and just um, keep a mindset of exploring and playing. So I'm going to show you this again with two other colors that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. Uh, so red and green are on the opposite side. So I've got a cadmium red medium and a sap green hue. The sap green hue is already a little bit muted, um, but I don't actually have that many pure green colors in my, um, or sort of more primary colors. So I'm doing the same thing, adding the white so you can see on both sides. Um, so I've started with the green, adding a touch of the red to it and just muting it down on the right side there. So if you enjoy earthy colors or more muted colors, this is just a nice way to extend your range of um, colors that you may have on hand uh, to bring in that, that more um, muted color palette. And then here on the right, <clears throat> I'm doing the red, uh, starting with pure color. Of course, when you add white to red, you get pink. <laughs> And then I'm just adding a bit of the green on the, the right side. So it creates a really rich, dark red you can see there. And I really enjoy a muted purple color, so I thought I'd try the the red and the blue here and um, add a bit of the white here so you can see a muted purple. This one's also almost fairly grayish color. So just grab two colors and play around and see what you come up with and enjoy. <laughs> 